Hello and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the Daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the Big Boy. This is kind of funny. We had just started a show and we were about five minutes in and I realized we weren't rolling. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that reminds me of my Willie Nelson story. I think it was 79 or 80. 79 or 80. I did this interview with Willie Nelson, Zach. He was so, he was, he was, Willie just turned 90, but this was like 40 three years ago, maybe 44 years ago, I was a young, 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 young reporter. And Willie Nelson had done a big show in Beaumont, Port Arthur. And uh, I got him as he was leaving, getting on the bus. And man, it was a beautiful night and people were, were, were uh, around us. And I was interviewing him and asking him all these great questions, man. And he was, he was, uh, he seemed like he was in a good spirits. And I bet I interviewed him for 30 minutes, 30 minutes. I was so excited about it. And he was, he was on, man. He was, he was, he had had a great show. And so after the interview, I thanked him. And then a few minutes later, the reporter, the, the cameraman looked at me and he goes, I'll never forget it. I, 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 I don't want to say I had murder in my heart, but I felt like I didn't, I don't have murder in my heart, but I wanted to attack him. Because he said he didn't have a tape oh, in the in the in the machine, he didn't have a tape in the machine. Oh man, you talk about! Did he leave after that, or did you do it again? Yeah, he left. Oh. He just spent thirty minutes with me outside the, his bus and surrounding all these people were around us, and oh, just it it, it I still feel that to this day. And that was more than 40 years ago. So I mean, what wow. well, it just, we it just didn't get it. No, with it, with, there wasn't a tape, uh -huh. Zach. There wasn't a tape. There was, at that time, it was on tape. And now it, it would be like it reminded me when we started the show here. We, we, I, I thought we were, I thought we were doing a show, but I realized after about five minutes, I go, man, it's not, uh, we're not, we're not, we're not videoing. So, man, that's, Make sure you've uh, make sure you're, you're you're when you're when you're recording something. Make sure it's you might want to do a test and make sure it's make sure you're recording. Oh man, that was that was sad, 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 sad. But I did have some opportunities after that where I interviewed Ronald Reagan right before in Iowa, where they, uh, the TV station Channel Four in Oklahoma City flew me to Iowa, and the cameraman's name was Tom Newcomb. He had the camera on, he had the tape in. And we were plugged in, and I interviewed Ronald Reagan. There we were, talking to Ronald Reagan out in, on a farm in Iowa. That, uh, and we still have that. We've showed that on the show a few times, and you can also find it on uh, Daddy and the Big Boy or, or, or go to uh, Good Gravy Productions. That's another, another channel that we have a bunch of stuff up on. And also uh, uh, McCain Brothers. We're, we're starting to load stuff on McCain Brothers, McCain Brothers channel. And we recently, uh, you know, we talked about Dick Van Dyke. Remember we talked about Dick Van Dyke in the last, one of the last shows and how he's 90 and he's encouraging everybody to move around, you know, move, exercise. And we had interviewed him when we were at KCBS in Los Angeles. And he's a, he's a very active, he's 90, he's almost 100 years old, believe it or not. And he's moving, he's moving around, moving around. You know, your granddad was, uh, my dad, he, he uh, enjoyed getting out and working, and I think that kept him young. Kept him young for a long time. So you are on break. Zach is on break right now. And are you, uh, you, you enjoying it? Are you enjoying your break? Yep. You're not getting bored? Nope. Nope, that's good. That's good. We don't want you to be bored. Don't be, don't be bored. What would you have done? If the cameraman said, "Man, I, we don't, we don't, we don't have a tape in the machine," what would you have done? Because mm. well, I, 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 if that person was still around, I would have asked him if we could do it again. Maybe. I, I did. I think I did. I think I asked somebody. I said, "Look, we we had a problem." They go, "Oh no, Willie's, Willie, Willie's, Willie's gone, man. He's, he's moving on, you know." Mm -hmm. So, man, it was just, oh, man. I've told that story before, and it just, it's still, my heart sinks. I had that, I got a good picture. I got a good picture. It's, it's, uh, it's on my IMDb. If you check out IMDb, I got a pretty good picture of me and Willie. 
interviewing him long ago far away but uh, we don't have the interview to show okay is this gonna is this gonna be the end of it or you got anything else you want to say don't think i have anything else nothing mm. you're sure any advice keep your knees together come home in a group anything like that if it is to be it is up to me no, you believe that you so. can achieve it inch by inch it's a sense you sure mm -hmm, i'm sure normally you've got a few words of wisdom you don't you don't have anything Nope, not right now. What, be respectable to your parents? Enjoy Christmas? Merry Christmas, everybody? Yeah, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There you go. That'll work. That'll work. You sure got a good smile. Thank you. You got a good smile. Thank you for watching, Daddy and the Big Boy. See you next time. Bye.